Yo, what's up? This is Amel. But I answer to Amel and Emil and Emily and <laughs> Amel. What? Amel. What? Amel. You get used to it over time. <laughs> I play uh, lead guitar for DOS. Here to do some lessons with jamplay.com. Okay, spell your name. E-M-I-L is my first name. Amel. How's that uh, I think it was an ingredient on a whiskey bottle. Um, I've been playing guitar for about more than half my life now, so about 13 years. Um, I started out just like anybody else, just kind of uh, curious about this whole instrument thing here. Um, started out as a pianist, and then uh, everything else kind of went to the side when I found a guitar, a really uh, piece of crap acoustic guitar, nylon string, couldn't even hold its tuning. Then heavy metal happened. I mean, I think about the reasons why I, you know, got an education in music, and the number one reason was to get the f out of my small town, straight up, and to meet more people. And also, at the same time, I could learn something new, which was jazz. I was kind of over rock, you know, over metal. What really kind of got me going was the, I guess, the more jazz-influenced metal guys that are still extreme, but have uh, more uh, odd harmonic content, kind of like uh, Cynic and... Uh, who I was introduced to them by death following the lineup changes and uh, you know Paul Masvidal and, and guys like that and Cynic really kind of showed me it was okay to sort of uh, impose different influences on metal. I say this to a lot of people and that's jazz is a new shred. You know, I mean, you can only tap and, and sweep so much. But it's, it's been done 20 years ago, just like every other style of music, you know. Diatonic harmony, there's only so far you can go when you're soloing over one note. You're gonna do what everybody else did 20 years ago and not do it quite as well. It's Paul Gilbert. <laughs> I can sleep better at night knowing that I'm doing something a little, a little different, slightly different, you know. Hopefully, I don't wake up tomorrow and find like a slew of 20 guitar players that have been doing it for 20 years. Knowing what hurdles to jump and knowing what hurdles to bypass. If you're learning theory and, you, and it's it's just it's just hurting your feelings because <laughs> you suck at it so bad. Theory, man. It. It's we, that's you know it's it's 2009, dude. You know <laughs> that's all I gotta say is the date and it sounds like all I gotta do is man, it's 2010, bro. It doesn't matter. No, no, you know theory. You know and, and you know what if if theory if theory's your bag, the playing end of it. Um, nothing's easy. You know, if I wanted to go ride a unicycle, it takes some work.
Holy sh! <laughs> That's a lot of stuff. Is that? Do you think you guys will be able to oh, use a lot of that? Yeah. The funniest thing is, I think the sound of Doth and um, you know the other guitar players got his name is A L E Y A L. It starts with the E, ends with the L. I'm Emil, E M I L. They think that uh, they they oh man. You just gotta sound like you're from the south or something, or, or, or you know the guy, that guy, you know, I'm talking about me. That guy does, you know, like thought you were from Sweden. Yeah. We're like, no. So we've been thinking about just going accents. Yeah, just just you know, go, getting some speech classes going on. You know, getting the getting the foreign accent. I mean, I, I think it probably give me some uh, some mojo.